The International Association for the Study of Pain has chosen the year 2018 as the Global Year for Excellence in Pain Education. Pain is a common symptom in clinical practice, placing special demands on healthcare professionals as well as the patients they treat. Two phenomena regarding pain management are indisputable. First, healthcare professionals have an ethical obligation to relieve pain. Second, this obligation has been largely neglected. All types of pain remain largely untreated and undertreated. Several studies have eliminated this problem. 80% of patients who undergo surgical procedures experience acute postoperative pain and approximately 75% of those with postoperative pain report a severity as moderate, severe or extreme. Even at the end of life, the data regarding adequate pain management remain discouraging. Nearly one of two patients with cancer pain is undertreated. Several factors have been identified as causes of this situation. Failure to identify pain as a priority in patient care. Failure to establish an adequate physician-patient relationship. Insufficient knowledge regarding adequate prescription of analgesics. Conflicting notions associated with drug-induced risks of tolerance and fears of addiction concerns regarding last-ditch treatments of severe pain and failure to be accountable and equitable. In this article, we underline the importance of focusing on the physician-patient relationship as an ethics encounter, of using a narrative-based ethics approach that takes into consideration the subjective dimensions of language pertaining to pain, always considering the ethical principles of the so-called principialism. The ethical framework for pain management, which we present in this article, will result in good care, linking the epistemic domains of pain management to its anthropologic foundations and accordingly it will be ethically sound.